Hello everyone, uh, welcome to chapter 13 which is a foreign key. For today we're gonna cover, um, so basically a foreign key is a way to create a relationship between, uh, you know, objects. So in this case, I will link the listings and the users. And why do we do this? Well, we need the, we do this so that we know like uh, which users uh, are linked to which uh, listings. So like which users created which listings. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. But before we start, um, so I already went through these before, like a couple of times. And since I have already created like a bunch of users, I I got like a problem with the database. But just to save us time, let's just go to the admin panel. So access uh, the admin panel and then just just delete all the users except the admin user like the, the main admin user and so let's see so we go here action delete select the users and then just click on go yes i'm sure yeah so let's just go do that first so that we can just save some time and let's also delete the listings so let's do this as well so there's just one because we deleted the uh, the second one last time all right so it's uh, like a problem with the database when you try to migrate to apply the changes so it, it just tells you something about like since there is already data there so just to avoid those problems let's just do that okay so <clears throat> go to models.py in the listings uh, folder and we need to import the user because we're gonna tie the listings to the user to yeah and vice versa so let's just import the model that we're gonna use which is the user model that uh, that we got from the contrib.auth uh, package that Django provides for us so let's do that so import user okay so after we do that so you can just copy paste this or you can just add the, the lines of code that I'm adding. It's just this this one line and the import that we just added. So where is the title? So we're just gonna add it right here. So, so we'll just create a new variable called user. And for this one, we're gonna, this is, this is how you write it uh, to have a foreign key. So which model are you using? The user model here, comma null equal to true which means that it could be a uh, null as well it, it's for the database so that it accept uh, null values and then models that cascade which means that if you if you were to delete like the user then all the listings are linked to that user will be deleted as well yeah so that's all we do for this part so, and make sure that every time that we, and I think I mentioned this before, but like every time that you, that you do something to the models at PY, you have to run both of the, of the commands, which is Python that manage that PY that make migrations and Python that PY, uh, manage that PY that migrate. So we'll do that later, but uh, we need to go to views now and also change make some changes there so go to the views py file in the listings folder and go to the new listing so we're gonna edit this a little bit so let's see all right so the first part stays the same here and then we'll just make some space here we will create a variable called instance which is gonna hold the data that's in the form and we use commit equal to false so that we don't s we don't commit the the data to the database yet and then instance that user equal to request the user to get the the user that's currently logged in and afterwards we don't have form that we don't do form that say because that information is an in instance now so now we do instance which holds the, the form data that save. And then, yeah, the rest stays the same. So just to recap, 
we just created a variable called instance which is going to hold the, the data in the form data that's not being committed yet because we have commit equal to false so it's not being committed to the database yet and then we set instance that user equal to request the user which is the currently logged in user and then we just save the form so that's for the view and you have an explanation here of what we just did and as I said every time that we make changes to the models API we have to run these commands migrations so let's do that and as you can see add field user to the listing so that's what we did and then manage the py migrate and then you should see that everything is good okay and then now we can just uh, run the server so let's do that so now we're gonna check that uh, we're gonna test the foreign key and make sure that every time that we create a user we uh, we we can you know select uh, which user is uh, creating that it will be automatically but we can do it through the admin panel so let's just uh let's go through the let's do both let's go to the admin panel first and then we'll create some listings from there all right so it's here so let's create a this is different right so let's just create a listing so go to listings add and here you can select uh, which user uh, you know is linked to which listing and this would be automatically if people create if users created from the from the website here we have to select it because we're creating it from the admin panel so again Scott Spark bike used we'll just leave this like this city something like that so we'll just add some uh, photos here so this right the content the contact email via gmail.com save and well we forgot to I forgot to create a, another user so that we can test this so we'll just add a user from here so let's uh, admin 2 okay let's just do that so now we have two users so now we can create another listing let's create a different listing and as you can see you can select which user created which listing so in this case let's give it to admin 2 right uh, bike 2 just for testing purposes here Okay, and here we'll just give it admin to uh, gmail.com. Save. All right, so now we have two listings. So, okay, so we went through this. So, what we're going to do now, let's log out. So, we just have to go to my listings view and let's just change uh, that one a little bit. So remember that we were getting all the view, all the listings before. So all the listings would appear. It, it would it, it didn't matter like who created the listings. So this time, we're gonna change the my listings variable, which is gonna be equal to. Here we're gonna do. Let me just uh, just keep it like that. I guess. Uh, yeah. Let's just keep it like that. So we'll just do uh, request the user, which is the currently logged in user that listings uh, underscore set that order by so this is going to give us the listings of this uh, currently logged in user and it's going to display them by uh, newest to oldest so we're keeping this part here but this changes so request the user so the currently logged in user so give me the listings of the currently logged in user so that's what, what, what I'm saying here 
and then the rest stays the same so once you change that you can uh, just run the server again I guess and uh, go to the let's open the, the website again so let's log in with uh, with any of the users really because we have a listing with each one so so you get the usual admin but now if you go to my listings I should see only one listing let's go to listings first you see both listings if you go to my listings you should see only one listing the listing that I created which was this one I think and as you can see you only see one listing the listing created by the admin in this case which is the user that user so you can view it you can do anything to this listing really you can delete it if you want to cancel and now let's uh, let's log in with the with the other user that we created, which is admin two. And this is the one that has the long password here. So this one also should have only one listing. See, and it's bike two, which is the one that's uh, related to that user. So that's what uh, a foreign key is, and that's how uh, we use it here. So now that we have the foreign key, we can. Um, actually go to the base.html and make some changes as well okay so now let's see so now we can move things around so again so this is what I said that we wanted to do right back when we were creating the my listings page so if the user is authenticated we want to uh, show that user the the, li the my listings uh, link otherwise it makes no sense because they are no logged in so and they haven't signed up so they don't have of course they don't have any listings right so let's just uh, copy this link and let's just move it inside of uh, you know if the user is authenticated then do this uh, show them the my listings link and then for the rest it stays the same because it already has the logic that we want so as it says here we have moved my listings link in inside the if statement yeah, so let's uh, let's just uh, try that. I think you can just refresh. You don't have to run the server again or like stop the server and run the server. So see now we don't if we're an anonymous user, you don't see my listings link. But once you log in, you should be able to to see it. I always make a mistake with this. Oh, okay, should be that one you go to my see you see the listing uh, the link now so my listings and then the same thing that we just went over yeah so that's all for this chapter uh, chapter 13 foreign keys I hope it was uh, it was clear if not you can just uh, pause pause the video repeat it or just read through uh, this the the guide of the book so that's the chat the, the quiz and then the answer sheet and we'll uh, handle the images for the next chapter. Thank you.